Hi everyone, welcome to the hunt. Actually, I thought the Puma Prevail OG that I did an unboxing and honestly video for just recently would be the very last pickup for for this year 2016, but sometimes things develop a little bit different than you think. And I happened to walk to the local Puma store here in Hamburg uh, on Friday and usually uh, it doesn't draw me in there too often because they mainly have like suede, some other stuff in, inside of the window, so you're not getting pulled in right away. And I didn't know that they have the model that I've been eyeing for some time. And uh, so I walk in there and see this model sitting and they have like 30 and 50% deals going on because they're going to close their doors. I wonder why. And um, the thing is, so okay, I, so I pick up two models of these and it, if you're familiar with the uh, with vintage Pumas, then uh, it does remind me a little bit of the of the Mirage model, just where the Mirage has the form stripe underneath the panels and the duplex has the form stripe on top of the panel. So uh, here it is, it's a the vintage green and white Puma box. Um, the duplex here and it's this one is from the Olympics pack. Exact color is glacier gray, black, royal blue, where the blue is more of a purple so bada bang here they are completely 90s colorway and uh, you can see it's a mix of white mesh black suede here at the toe box a purple foam stripe and some neon hits here on the heel cup in yellow and here at the eyelet um, dope shoe it is a, a teal green black here on the insole with the Puma logo printed on it. Um, I think this is an awesome shoe. This has an awesome shape. It looks great on feet. I already, uh, I've already worn these. I couldn't, couldn't wait until I was doing, I've done this review here. I already wore them on the weekend and they're super comfortable and they really look awesome on feet. They have great shape. This, they have this little like New Balance has the short nose. So, um, Really glad I was able to pick these up. And the other one is the same model, just a different colorway, but comes in the same box. And this is the uh, the Winter Casual, and the exact color is Taffy Pico. And it comes in uh, a couple more colors, and because and, it's an all suede upper, it comes in different colors. It also comes in gray burgundy white and blue and I the taffy peacoat is the sand one and uh, this has an awesome suede upper it's really good quality it reminds me a lot of the UK and US new balances and it has check it out a awesome gum bottom um, cream white midsole here and I put in some cream white laces it does come with some uh, Rope laces, sand and blue, and uh, here you see the insole that I wasn't really a fan of. I think the cream white laces here do a much better job, and uh, um, they just look better, I think. And I, let me hold it a little bit closer to the camera. I'm gonna tame the light a little. Here you can see it now. The nice quality here. Some brush strokes it's really really nice and uh, I think Puma did a great job on these but somehow they're not really marketing these for some reason I have no idea really saw it looks almost identical come on focus you can see it's pretty dope actually just let me get out the other one as well close up here yeah very bright heel cup awesome nose also uh, toe box not <laughs> a nose it's sharp nose but a toe box white mesh white mesh on the tongue very simple shoe but awesome looking so paid 45 euros for this one 63 for this one. I think retail on these should more be like 75 because of uh, the quality you're getting. I think the 90 euros for these are justified. Uh, both of them are killer. 
uh, if you're able to pick them up somewhere, highly recommend it, especially if you find it on a deal. And usually Pumas always go on sale somewhere, so you have good chances finding these. I, I absolutely love these and I can't wait to wear these and I'm definitely going to take some pictures as well and I'm going to show them on my Instagram account, so check them out. And I'll also do some on-fit pictures of these and on-fit videos, so stay tuned for that as well. And um, other than that, I'm already wishing you a great Christmas time and a very good transition to 2017. I'm going to be on vacation and probably back at the mid to end of January, but I'm trying to be putting out more videos more frequently in the future. So I hope this is going to turn out well as a plan. Um, so hope you enjoyed it. If you like my channel, uh, subscribe if you like this video hit thumbs up it's, it's gonna help me out to uh, to uh, be recommended to other people who are interested in content like this and until then have a great one I'll see you soon until then bye bye